Thank you for your introduction. The topic I will speak is potential of new inhibitors molecules for SARS-CoV-2 pillar pro and in silico and synthetic approach. As we know, at the final stage of 2020, one vaccine, the first one against coronavirus, was developed. And after that date, the taxes of death was decreased significantly. But we still have problems unresolved, like the patients in critical condition. If you are vaccinated or not vaccinated, you can fall in this condition, especially if you are not vaccinated. The other problem is the variants and the immune schemes of the virus. New strains, new mutations can be more and more resistant against, against our actual vaccines. And now the question that we need to answer like a chemist, like a chemist is, does chemistry have a solution? The answer is yes, drugs. In this case, drugs against one protein of SARS-CoV-2 called PIL-PRO. PIL-PRO is the protein shown in this slide. PIL-PRO allows the free replication of SARS-CoV-2 and had the function of to inhibit the antiviral response of the antiviral response of the cells and the tissue nearby against the virus. For then, our research objective is one in silico to develop a new causal equation with the actual data, and then to synthesize these different molecules uh, following this causal equation. Then for our model of or the two the CUSAR is take 130 molecules, molecules from 12 papers, then make the CUSAR equation, calculating different descriptors with Paddle software, and then the statistical analysis with a Minitab software, and then to predict the PAC50 of different molecules. Our CUSAR results are, in summary, are shown in this slide. As you can see, uh, have a high productivity in the training set and test sets, and the statistical parameters shows on a properly uh, uh, statistical validations. For then, uh, our equation can be validated. Once time validated our equation, the equa final equation is on the bottom. As you can see, the negative descriptors are highlighted in red, the numbers of fluorine, chlorine and oxygen decrease the activity of the antiviral. For then, for the develop a new antiviral, we need to avoid them. For then, we we create a we propose a new structure. In this case, amino pyrimidine structure like antiviral. In this case, the antiviral with an radical in this position R, one with purin and the second with one naphthalene. Why we propose these two molecules? Because have a high productivity, PAC 50, eight and seven, better than our actual data. For the synthesis methodology, it's only two steps. The first one is an acclation schmidt condensation, is when an aketone, an enolate in basic medium, attack the aldehyde to create an beta ketone insaturated or chalcon, then this chalcon can react by a cyclocondensation reaction, uh, the one at the, on the chalcon, and in basic medium, ethanol and reflux temperature for 96, 96 hours, we can obtain our amino pyramid structure. For then, um, this product uh, wa was isolated properly, but we still have problems like the gel, the total gel, it's very low. This problem is uh, probably by the steric indrance of these molecules, but we characterize these molecules by NMR spectroscopy from carbons and protons. Then finally, we concluded that we obtained a validated Kusar equation, and then we obtained two molecules with amino pyrimidine structure that have an, uh, have an greater than 7 pac 50 predicted. And then uh, we synthesized these two molecules, amino pyrimidine structure, and we are looking for, for synthesized more amino pyrimidine structures. And now with two, these two synthesized mo molecules, we want to uh, test them in a biological assays. Thank you.